Hello, students. Last week we learned about upcycling, the process of reusing old materials to make a new object more valuable than the original pieces. Today, I'll focus on how this eco friendly practice is employed in architecture around the world. Our first example is a community center in Singapore called Enabling Village. Its buildings are famous for being made from old shipping containers. Second, we have a hotel in Mexico called Tubo Hotel. The capsule style rooms of this hotel were built using huge upcycled concrete pipes. Next, Microlibrary Bima is a small local library located in Indonesia. The building was constructed by arranging 2,000 plastic ice cream buckets. Finally, there's the circular pavilion in France. It is known for its exterior design, which consists of 180 reused wooden doors. Each of these examples shows how upcycling is applied in architecture globally to minimize our environmental footprint. Now, let's watch a video showing how these buildings were made. Hello, students. Last week we learned about upcycling, the process of reusing old materials to make a new object more valuable than the original pieces. Today, I'll focus on how this eco friendly practice is employed in architecture around the world. Our first example is a community center in Singapore called Enabling Village. Its buildings are famous for being made from old shipping containers. Second, we have a hotel in Mexico called Tubo Hotel. The capsule style rooms of this hotel were built using huge upcycled concrete pipes. Next, Microlibrary Bima is a small local library located in Indonesia. The building was constructed by arranging 2,000 plastic ice cream buckets. Finally, there's the circular pavilion in France. It is known for its exterior design, which consists of 180 reused wooden doors. Each of these examples shows how upcycling is applied in architecture globally to minimize our environmental footprint. Now, let's watch a video showing how these buildings were made. 1번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번. 언급된 나라가 아닌 것은? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Have you noticed that AI is finding its way into virtually everything nowadays? It's even used in the sports industry. Let me share with you some examples of how AI is being integrated into various sports. First, AI is making its way into football. For example, one Spanish football club has implemented an AI system named Zone 7. It uses medical data collected during training to prevent injuries from occurring during a game. Another AI is in rugby. It's difficult for referees to see everything that happens during a rugby match. So, if there's any confusion, referees use highly complex AI video analysis tools to make the right judgment. Also, a lot of tennis players use a range of apps built by AI experts. Using the apps enables them to get automated analyses of shot speed and accuracy and analyze their games with more precision. Lastly, to combat inaccurate decisions made during a game, AI robots have been tested in baseball. They sit above home plate and accurately read pitches. There's no doubt that AI is already having a significant impact on sports. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Have you noticed that AI is finding its way into virtually everything nowadays? It's even used in the sports industry. Let me share with you some examples of how AI is being integrated into various sports. First, AI is making its way into football. For example, one Spanish football club has implemented an AI system named Zone 7. It uses medical data collected during training to prevent injuries from occurring during a game. Another AI is in rugby. It's difficult for referees to see everything that happens during a rugby match. 
So, if there's any confusion, referees use highly complex AI video analysis tools to make the right judgment. Also, a lot of tennis players use a range of apps built by AI experts. Using the apps enables them to get automated analyses of shot speed and accuracy and analyze their games with more precision. Lastly, to combat inaccurate decisions made during a game, AI robots have been tested in baseball. They sit above home plate and accurately read pitches. There's no doubt that AI is already having a significant impact on sports. 1번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번 언급된 스포츠가 아닌 것은? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good afternoon, students. The year is coming to an end. Some of you probably have a New Year's tradition. This is also true for various cultures around the world, which welcome the change of the calendar with unique traditions. Here are some more unconventional traditions you likely haven't heard of. In Spain, it's customary to eat 12 grapes. Each grape represents good fortune for each month of the coming year. Residents of Denmark greet the new year by throwing old plates and glasses against the doors of family and friends to chase away evil spirits. In Brazil, wearing special underwear on New Year's Eve is thought to bring good luck for the next year. The most popular colors are red and yellow. And citizens of Colombia walk around with an empty suitcase on New Year's Eve to bring good fortune for their upcoming travels. Now, let's watch some videos on this topic. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good afternoon, students. The year is coming to an end. Some of you probably have a New Year's tradition. This is also true for various cultures around the world which welcome the change of the calendar with unique traditions. Here are some more unconventional traditions you likely haven't heard of. In Spain, it's customary to eat 12 grapes. Each grape represents good fortune for each month of the coming year. Residents of Denmark greet the new year by throwing old plates and glasses against the doors of family and friends to chase away evil spirits. In Brazil, Wearing special underwear on New Year's Eve is thought to bring good luck for the next year. The most popular colors are red and yellow. And citizens of Colombia walk around with an empty suitcase on New Year's Eve to bring good fortune for their upcoming travels. Now, let's watch some videos on this topic. 3번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 4번 언급된 나라가 아닌 것은? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our art lecture. Today, we'll talk about the fascinating flowers that great artists like to paint as subjects. Vincent van Gogh's sunflower stand out as one of the most famous examples. His use of vivid colors and bold brushstrokes in these paintings is truly striking and unforgettable. Claude Monet is famous for his beautiful paintings of water lilies. He painted these flowers in various colors and with an impressionistic style. Henri Matisse, on the other hand, loved painting roses. Throughout his career, he created numerous paintings of these flowers using bright colors and simplified forms that became his signature style. And of course, poppies, those bright red or orange flowers, have always been popular among artists. Claude Monet's Field of Poppies is a fantastic example. The painting features loose, impressionistic brushstrokes and bold, vivid colors that capture the essence of these beautiful flowers. Now, let's take a look at these great paintings online. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our art lecture. Today, we'll talk about the fascinating flowers that great artists like to paint as subjects. Vincent van Gogh's sunflower stand out as one of the most famous examples. His use of vivid colors and bold brushstrokes in these paintings is truly striking and unforgettable. Claude Monet is famous for his beautiful paintings of water lilies. 
he painted these flowers in various colors and with an impressionistic style. Henri Matisse, on the other hand, loved painting roses. Throughout his career, he created numerous paintings of these flowers using bright colors and simplified forms that became his signature style. And of course, poppies, those bright red or orange flowers, have always been popular among artists. Claude Monet's Field of Poppies is a fantastic example. The painting features loose, impressionistic brushstrokes and bold, vivid colors that capture the essence of these beautiful flowers. Now, let's take a look at these great paintings online. 5번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 6번. 언급된 꽃이 아닌 것은? 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, animal loving viewers. Welcome to my online channel, Animal World. I'm Alice Brown. I'm going to talk about companion animals. If you're thinking about raising one, there are some important things to consider. First, you should know their personality. If you know cats are independent and not social, it'll help you coexist with them. Second, you have to think about time. For example, dogs are active and enjoy playing. So, if you don't have a lot of free time, it's not a good idea to raise one. Next, consider the cost. Parrots can be expensive to raise, just like other pets. Think about your economic situation before making any decision. Lastly, listen to what your family members think. For example, if you want to raise a hamster, but someone in your family doesn't like hamsters, it'll be difficult to keep one. Keep all these in mind and leave any questions you have in the comments below. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, animal loving viewers. Welcome to my online channel, Animal World. I'm Alice Brown. I'm going to talk about companion animals. If you're thinking about raising one, there are some important things to consider. First, you should know their personality. If you know cats are independent and not social, it'll help you coexist with them. Second, you have to think about time. For example, dogs are active and enjoy playing. So, if you don't have a lot of free time, it's not a good idea to raise one. Next, consider the cost. Parrots can be expensive to raise, just like other pets. Think about your economic situation before making any decision. Lastly, listen to what your family members think. For example, if you want to raise a hamster, but someone in your family doesn't like hamsters, it'll be difficult to keep one. Keep all these in mind and leave any questions you have in the comments below. 7번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 8번. 언급된 동물이 아닌 것은?